Hi guys, Coach Matt here. I wanted to show you a really simple uh, band progression to the kettlebell swing. I have two videos previously, one on uh, what to do if you're feeling in your back on a deadlift, as, as well as a body weight and, uh, and dumbbell swing variations. Uh, I recommend watching those two videos just for some technique feedback to get a little bit more detail, but today what we're gonna do is cover how to use it with a resistance band. So if you don't have equipment available, um, what I'm gonna do is just set up, again, lay the band down on the ground first, and then step in rather than dragging it out. My feet should be about hip width apart. I'm gonna grab across the opposite side of the band so I make an X and almost like a handle. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is go into my normal hinge pattern. So I'm gonna drive the hips back, keeping the chest up, in the back nice and long, and then as I snap through with my hips, the momentum is gonna help me stretch out the band through my arms. But what I wanna make sure I'm doing is I'm not pulling with the arms at the top. I'm actually gonna be pushing back down in order to engage the lat and maintain core stability throughout. So that's where a lot of people mess up, okay? So I'm going back, I'm only going this high as my hips carry that band and preferably no higher than chest height. So again, down, I feel that band pulling, I'm gonna come right back down with it, okay? What we tend to see a lot of, and this is part of what those other videos will explain, is as people go up, they over arch their back, over extend their back, and they're like reaching too high with that band. Don't let that be you. Maintain that solid core, ribs down and in, reach back. As I snap up at the top, core still engaged, I still have my nice flat back, and then I can do that for reps. If you don't feel comfortable with that yet, go back and try that body weight version with no external load, and you can build up to this when you're ready. That's the band swing.